Hello and welcome to the third episode of Soda Dungeon 2 100% Achievement Series. In this episode we'll finally go through the first portal and take a look a little bit at the second dimension. If you remember the previous episode, I was at level 98, so I'm very close to be able to kill the boss already. However, I decided to overfarm this dimension just to make 100% sure that I would be ready at the very beginning of the second dimension with only unarmed soda junkies. So here I'm already preparing to start farming with the uh, credit that they give you for being offline. Here I'm setting this up uh, and I will set it up wrong. Uh, I, I came to the conclusion that uh, only mineshaft you, you would select so you don't you don't need healing fairies and the bonus bonus treasure is not really amazing enough at least right now uh, early this game for it to be worth it so i should go only um, uh, mineshaft so we're gonna go from level one and we're going to do a run like this so my goal is of course to upgrade mainly the soda junkies and of course dealers, always dealers, that doesn't change. And I really wanted that building if you remember the previous episode, by the way there's a little eye on the top right if you missed it, the whole series is there, well there's two episodes, it's not big yet but maybe you're joining very late and there's more episodes, they're all on the top right, the little card on the eye. So here's the pets that you can get. Uh, they start you with the well, 1% uh, HP increase. I was a little disappointed to see that there's only 8 levels. So that would give me 8% HP, but I said okay. Uh, there's other pets and uh, they're pretty expensive. <laughs> so uh, we'll, see, we'll see where it leads. Um, let's start with this pet and that's cool. And uh, I, I'm pointing here that it takes 100 battles to level up so uh, because I'm discovering this on the fly of course all right now I'm uh, checking out the bar because I'm trying to get the mystic and look at that I'm missing one gold one gold what are the odds well no big deal I'm going to farm some more because another thing I'm gonna be doing preparing for dimension 2 is I'm gonna try to get uh, one or two more classes to see what they do because I'm not that far from getting damage it doesn't take that long in reality to farm a couple of times you know what I mean so I'm going to burn some of those credits again there you go soon I'll realize if you hit the green arrow once it bring you to one here's Soda Junkie level 9 now, of course, level 10 is uh, is always about uh, aesthetics. I think it's um, skin color or something. So it's it's a it's a useless level. I'm gonna be aiming at level at least 11. So here's our mystic. I will turn up to uh, really like the mystic a lot because of her AOE. I really like AOE in games. Uh, and once she becomes very powerful, her AOE will be devastating. And I'm preparing a new team with me. My new characters, which I know nothing about. I have a Thief here and uh, Mystic. So I want to see what they do, what they're about. And I put a Soda Junkie, of course, to uh, continue to level them up. And. I'm going to, win to do a little crafting session. And while I do that, I just want to talk about uh, something you might have noticed. We did a, uh, we changed the logo and banner to modernize them a little bit. There's also going to be a, a new channel trailer. Uh, right now I'm just uh, preparing for that. So stay tuned and I hope you like the new logo and banner. We're trying to look a little more professional and increase the production value of both the channel and videos. 
Yes, we've been doing the, this for... We're closing in on two months soon. So the 26th of May that I started. And we're the 14th of July as I'm speaking right now. So closing in on two months experience. And I'm very happy with the growth that we have so far. So if you are new uh, to this channel, please consider subscribing. Because there's plenty uh, of games that are coming up this series will continue of course we got a click rewards 2 series if you're interested in this game and there will be all sorts of other games and i take requests so i, I really try to uh, get feedback from people so uh, if there's games you're interested in you let me know and uh, if there's a very strong chance that i might cover it Unless it's first person shooter, I don't play those games unfortunately, so there will be no Fortnite like I said in the... I think it's another series I was talking about that. Uh, no Fortnite, no PUBG, none of that, but otherwise I play pretty much anything, so... You just gotta let me know in the comments. So here's uh, another level, here's the useless choose skin color and another useless one, eye color, so these are pretty much wasted levels so I'm checking so I'm clicking around right now so that's why I'm speaking up there was there is still a bunch of clicking, clicking around because I'm trying to uh, to learn the UI still because I only have a few hours of, of experience I think uh, in this game uh, I took two uh, this is my fourth hour maybe or something like that three four hours Se in, in, in separate sessions, right? So it's, it's, it's many, many, many things to learn. I'm a noob still, like many of the people uh, watching. I'm not calling you noobs, but uh, of course, we're all new. Uh, the, the game just came out. Uh, of, uh, there's a. I wonder how many beta key they gave, though. I'm sure there are beta players that are watching too. And uh, thanks for watching, of course. And. Uh, compared to you, uh, I know nothing. That's that's pretty clear. <laughs> but um, there's many people who are as new as I am who are watching. So together we'll discover this game. I'm going to do some research, and this is about achievements. So it will be some sort of achievement guide. Although I'll although the achievements on this game aren't pretty straightforward. So we're gonna do a run uh, this time because I ran out of credit, of course. Uh, so we're gonna do a manual run uh, this time. And it, it will be... Oh, it won't be a sped up, that's correct. Yeah, there's something I wanna test, so you're gonna see in a... in a few seconds in reality. Yeah, there's something I want to know, based on a false assumption. And uh, because I'm so close, I'm going to tell you. What I'm trying to figure out here is, what happens if you live, if you leave in the middle of a, of a run? The reason why I'm doing this uh, is, um, I want to farm, right? So, I, w w one thing I don't know is, you can kill the boss in a dimension, the final boss, and stay in that dimension and farm. But I didn't know that, of course. So I said, I'm gonna need to uh, reach 98 or 99, and then leave the dungeon. Here's an achievement. So I wanted to know if uh, if I could keep my, my loot, and yeah, I can keep my loot. I'm just wrong about, you know, I'm about the fact that I have to leave, all I would have to do right now is to kill the boss and uh, and stay here and farm as long as I want before I go to the next dimension. But I'll I'll figure that out later on. In fact, it will be in the next episode. Next episode's footage is ready, but it's raw and it, well, there was no um, editing yet. Um, so there's something I want to ask you. Uh, in reality is uh, is this so this video that I'm making right now should be something like 35 minutes or something like that next video will be a good 40 minutes now uh, I won't 
what I want to do is I want to divide each video uh, by dimensions, okay? This one is special because it's the first time I prestige and I discover what it is. I'm all excited and I explore the second dimension a little bit. But starting next video, it will be a video about dimension two. If I need to do multiple parts because some dimensions uh, will become so long, I will have to do multiple parts. That's fine. Here's the question for you. Uh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer one 40 minute episode about dimension two, for instance? Or two parts. Part one is 20 minutes, part two is 20 minutes. Which one do you prefer? But keep in mind though, I will upload one Soda Dungeon video per two days. Don't be shy to write it in the comments. So let me know, do you prefer the short version or the long version? And uh, also, do I go past 45, 50 minutes, uh, an hour, right? Because I could fit one full dimension in each video for a while, at least. I don't know how long. Eventually, uh, it will just be nonsense. I'm going to have to make two parts, but it would be toward the, the end. Uh, and it, because there's so much farming, there would be a lot of cuts, so even if I have something like 10 hours of footage, I could turn in, not 10 hours, but let's say 5 hours of footage, it, it could become a 1 hour video. So, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, without uh, feedback, I'll, uh, I'll just uh, make a judgment call, but uh, with feedback, it will help me give you what you, what you want. Because I want to keep you happy and entertain you as much as I can and inform you as much as I can. So level 76, 77, so we're gonna do a full run from level 1 to farm and I'm gonna die soon. Now if I were to start from the last level I was at, I would be able to kill the boss, but uh, going from level completely from level one, of course. And here's my pet level four. I got my level eleven that I wanted on my soda junkie. And here's the huntress. Huntress is still a mystery uh, for me at that time. What it does, it what does she do exactly, right? So we'll. I'm gonna look into this in a in a moment I think, I don't know if it's right now or a bit later. That's the problem with you, when you have uh, arch archived footage, you get uh, a little confused on uh, when the things happen and uh, with these speed ups uh, it uh, disorients you. So this is another session of selling and upgrading and the usual stuff. Now right now I'm selling individual items, but I will learn in a future episode that I can use liquidate instead and I don't have to sell each little individual. Here's, oh, that's it. So uh, that's me looking at, uh, okay, uh, is there something I want before I go? Uh, the answer is yes. I want this three HP level. So I want to be level 12 before I go to the next dimension. I look a bit at the carpenter. I'm going to skip to the, to the nurse, I believe. There you go. And I'm going to see that. I'm approaching level 10, which is a useless level. And looking at a mystic because it's a new class, but the, the, the one I'm going to discover is the Huntress. I'm going to look at the best theory because something, uh, there was a pop up and I'm looking for the Medusa boss, which I will find in a moment. There you go. So uh, it said something about the soul or something and he realized, oh, I can capture mobs and it increases my damage. So I hope this is percentage though, plus 0 0.02 damage. I hope it's percentage. If, if it's not percentage, that means you need 50 captures for one damage. Can you imagine how long it would take for it to be relevant? So I'm not, uh, so I don't, uh, I'm gonna have to do some research about the Huntress. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah. 
I just don't know. But I don't know if it would be if it, it would be considered a good class with 0 0.02, or maybe if you play a thousand hours or something, it would be. <laughs> it would be. You would get a, a couple of damage more or something like that. I don't know. Still a lot to learn. So here I'm shuffling uh, characters around, but I I don't know. Um, I still don't know the order, and that's something I'm gonna figure out on the not next episode, but the other episode. I will um, really figure out which character to push in which order and why. I'm at that point uh, in my as I speak right now because of, like I said, there's footage that's sitting around. But I'm trying to have not more than one episode ahead of me in footage. I don't want to be too ahead. Let, let's say uh, I wouldn't do a Dimension 2 video if I was at Dimension 5, for instance. So I have to refrain from playing, which is uh, not easy because I really love this game uh, very much. It's extremely addictive. It's unfortunate that I forgot most of my, my experience on the first Soda Dungeon. I played a while ago and I played so many games and I honestly forgot about, mo about most of it besides maybe the beginning with the stool and the broken glass bottle and the fact that it was an awesome game. But I don't really remember um, how far I went or that's unfortunate. I could like maybe load the game and check it out but bah, I don't need to. Okay so level 80 and let's, so let's see I'm trying to see uh, can I go from 1 to 98, 99, and then of course I will cancel the run. Healing fairy, and I just killed the last boss before the final boss. Now here I'm slowing down the video. That's because I'm going to cancel this run. Another. Okay, so that's an achievement for the that's for the fairy. First time I got the fairy. A few levels up, that's cool. Thirteen minute run. Okay. So where am I going here? Oh, when I do this, you see this? Okay, so when I do this is because I uh, I use the Xbox bar to record my footage. And when I come back to a new session, I go back to that screen and I start recording again. So if you see me do that, that's because I, I splintered two, two recordings together. I, I usually try to record a, a little less than an hour. It makes my life easier when I edit. So I'm continuing to to farm here with my so uh, carpenter is the second guy you get so uh, of course I'm gonna get the soda junkie carpen carpenter and healer and I'm gonna get five battle credits wow that's a lot you can tell I took a very short break here and level 91 you know what that means. Yes, that means I'm going to try to kill the final boss and it's gonna be time for me to prestige. Before prestiging, I did some research. So between these two sessions, uh, these two gaming sessions where you saw me recording, I uh, looked up what do you need to do before you prestige because I didn't want to make a mistake. So uh, I know what to do. And uh, you're gonna see me do it. You're gonna see me prestige get relics, I'm going to look at uh, artifacts or relics, I forgot how they call, uh, and you're going to see me look at them and I'm going to explore Dimension 2 a little bit and that will be this episode. And like I said, future episode will be, uh, there will be no exploring of other dimensions, it will be focused on one dimension only. And we're at 96, I could have sped that up but it's too late now. I'm pretty close anyways. Ninety seven and you know I'm pretty confident here that I'm over leveled to be able to kill the last boss. 
so it doesn't wor worry me one bit and it's not a game that uh, it's, it's a big deal if these are no fail games you know if you if you die you just have to farm more no big deal so you can try all sorts of things it's pretty chill it's a pretty chill game all right 99 and then we're gonna finally face the last boss of this dimension and discover all sorts of new things here it is So I expected them to be tougher than the other bosses, but I was not really scared. All right, let's do it. So they turn off auto battle. So I'm I'm gonna keep auto battle on probably the whole the whole time I'll play this game. To be frank, unless there's something specific I have to do, like in the achievements, there's certain tasks that you have to do. Uh, I can't remember on the top of my head, but something like. Uh, oh, by the way, here I was like, if, they, if he one shots me with this uh, AOE, I'm in trouble. But no. <laughs> yeah, you know, a task like uh, I don't know, stone uh, hit a stoned mob from the back or something like that. Then I would have to it, to do it manually. So here he died, and he goes through the portal, and I'm all excited to see what's going to happen in my first prestige. But before prestige, there's certain things I'm gonna have to do, and one of those things is to liquidate everything I got and spend on permanent upgrades. So that's something I'm aware of, and I'm checking the achievements. That's because I was wondering if I would get the uh, finish first dimension achievement, but I won't get it until I go into the portal. And, oh, I need to speak to the wizard first. Okay, I'm gonna talk to him. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'm reading diagonal, but. Give me that portal so I can do what I need to do. Come on, man. Yeah, I know it's gonna be perilous. There you go. Do your job. Ah, that's good. But I'm not clicking on that yet. There's still a bit of clicking around, you're gonna see less of that over time. And here I'm gonna go like, okay, so here I, I could have accelerated things, but it, it won't take me that long. But I'm trying to figure out how liquidate works, because, because I never looked uh, at it at all. So I said, how, how does it work? How do I... <laughs> so, so I went back to sell, I said, there's no way I'm gonna sell all that by hand. I go back and I'm, I'm about to figure it out, don't worry. There you go, that's what you need to do. Put zero. For now, uh, when it comes to resources, it's gonna change after, but this will sell everything Do you want. Yes, yes, yes. There you go, I got 16,000 gold. And now I'll be looking for something. So I'm gonna accelerate this because I'm looking for the place where you can upgrade. You know when you get one keeper run and you can upgrade a, a thing that gives you 10% of your resources when you prestige. Yeah, I'm trying to find that button and I was too stubborn to look it up. I wanted to do it myself. There you go, that's what I was looking for. And that's what I wanted to buy. And I thought resources meant gold for a second, but then I remembered, oh no, 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 there's also an upgrade in the tavern about gold. So resources is mats, which I sold them all, so I'm not gonna get mats f uh, on Dimension uh, 2, but I'll, I'm gonna learn my lesson for Dimension 3. So I'm trying to find if is there anything else I can upgrade, is there anything else I can do, am I really ready? And then uh, I decide that I am ready. So let's enter the portal and see what happens when you enter the portal. And also looked up uh, which uh, artifact to get first also to be sure that I don't make a mistake. So I know what to do exactly uh, in advance. 
So here this this part reminds me of a Super NES game called Illusion of Gaia. For those who know this game, let me know in the comments. Illusion of Gaia was an amazing Super NES game, a masterpiece. And this reminds me of of that a little bit somehow. Okay, so I gotta choose between three and Relic of Attack is the, the one you should get. And I'll be honest, even without knowing, I would have taken it because it's DPS. The left one is pretty good too, uh, which is uh, uh, health. And the one they give me is bad, uh, in my opinion. Uh, maybe it's good very, very late, but it's, it's about getting keys and it's just uh, not something I'm gonna put time on. And now I'm gonna explore um, the new elements that you get in a dimension, for instance, the relics menu. So they're called relics. I call them artifact. Uh, well, okay, it's relics. So I look at that, and okay, that's the menu. Oh, I gotta, oh, I gotta talk to him again. What does he want? What do you want again? I, I want to play the game. Come on. What do you want to tell me here? So I'm reading diagonal, of course, real quickly. Okay. I'm reading more than usual. So here's in a, a little quest to purchase three sodas, which I cannot do because I have zero dollars and a bunch of guys in underwear with no weapons and no shield, no armor, no nothing. All I have is one broken glass and a stool as a shield. And let's see how far I can get in my first run with these mostly unarmed soda junkies that I carefully leveled before coming here. Oh, essence, okay. That's cool. That's what I'm gonna use, of course, to upgrade my relics. I was about to see artifact. I got my first essence, and okay. So let's see how far I'm gonna get. I'm fast forwarding now, uh, just because I wanted to see, show the purple mobs that give essence. So mine shop, that's a good start. I'm gonna need mats, of course, uh, to craft equipment early so approaching level 30 already but I lost one guy so two guys down now so I'm not gonna go very far but far enough to to have a first uh, decent run and that run that, I, that I'll make after that will be the last run for uh, this episode. All I wanted to do is uh, the first run with the soda junkies and then an actual first run uh, with the initial people that you get uh, with the first money that you get. So here the the clock, yes the magic clock is very powerful and I'm looking forward to get it but it's very expensive uh, so they give it to me for 15 battles, how generous, thank you but I'm looking forward to have it permanently and this is about arena and usually I really enjoy arenas in games so I'm looking forward to see what this is gonna be about but the question is, what do I need to build this and do I have it? And the answer is no, because I do not have bones. No bones. Another message from the Dark Lord. There you go, we're gonna start mm -hmm. upgrading for the first time our Relic of Attack. And this is where I'm going to be looking at the other relic in more detail. Relic on dungeon keys, yuck. Yeah, no thank you. Maybe very late when it's so cheap. 
of course I'll I'll put what's left over in it. Time to buy some sodas. And um, mm, let's get let's get the healer first. But I have enough for the miner. And I completed the quest of getting three sodas. And I'm checking, but I don't have any money. So now it's going to be time to uh, use the bed to make a proper team. For the final run of this episode. So here I'm thinking, uh, is that good enough? Yes, no. And I said, ah, oh, I got a farm. I, I got a craft equipment of course so we're gonna do a little speed up here again and I'm gonna be crafting equipment a little bit so I can get a decent run there you go and now I overspent I only have nine bucks so I'm stuck with three so <laughs> well that's not a big deal I'm just gonna use some of my credits to do another run yeah I'm trying to see can I sell something to have uh, money or whatever I said oh, I'll just you know I'll, I'll change my mind here and just do a, a quick run with the, the credits that I have I do have a bone here so here's my run Yes, kick. There you go. Oh, he leveled up. That's good. Level 14. Plus one attack. Now I have money. Now I can do the final run of this episode. And there you go. I decide that... Uh, so why her first? I want to give her the best equipment. But again, I know nothing of the order. And I will know that in two episodes. Not next episode, but the following one. So here I'm shuffling people around, uh, but there's no, it's incorrect, anyways. And I don't know, it's, it's, I'm kind of exploring the UI at the same time, but I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to uh, the order of, of, uh, of characters in a party all right let's do the final run how far can I go from level one and I'm gonna hit go in a moment there you go so how far do you think I'll get let's see now because there was no fade out or cut that's not a, that long of a run future runs eventually will be so long that I that I won't be able to show you sped up fights like this but right now we're already at level 43 45 6 7 8 it goes fast enough that uh, it's totally watchable So I, you know, I thought maybe the gap, the difficulty gap between dimension is very high, but I saw that it's it's not too bad. I mean, I'm already at 80, and this is my first run, right? So, okay, I overfarmed previous run. I I admit I admit that, but I'm gonna reach 82. So that's not bad at all. It would be. Now I'm gonna have to farm a fair bit to be able to clear uh, Dimension 2, but that's a good first run for Dimension 2. And what I'm going to do now I know this uh, episode is gonna be over. In my mind I said, okay, I gotta stop here because I'm gonna make new episode for... So they want me to kill 20 rats by the way, so I'll do that later. 
So I'm just gonna wrap things up here before I go. So what I'm gonna be doing, I think I'm gonna look at the relic, if I remember well. Is that what I'm gonna do? Yes. And I can upgrade it. And I'm gonna finish the footage by showing the achievements, the progress we made, and we're getting there, we're getting there. And that's it for this episode's gameplay. This concludes the third episode of Soda Dungeon 2 100% Achievement Journey series. Stay tuned for next episode as we're gonna go through Dimension 2 and things are gonna get very interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.